Uh, good morning. <laughs> it is just before 5 a.m. And uh, although this uh, whole rewiring of the brain doesn't take uh, a lot of effort in the sense of practice, it does take some discipline. And that is to make sure that you spend time on reprogramming your thinking. Uh, and uh, maybe when I wake up, I'll come back and explain why I'm doing this this early in the morning. It is something to do with my brain frequency. Uh, but it's the best time of the day to start the reprogramming now. So just give me a minute or two and I'll get back to you. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for the morning. <laughs> uh, time for a nice coffee. And then I'll come back later today to explain to you why this was so important for me to get up this early. Have a great day. A big apology for you seeing me like that this morning. Uh, it was very early and it was before I had coffee. So not at my very best. Or maybe I was actually at my very best. And, and that's the point. Uh, I like to, to do some of my programming or my rewiring of my mind uh, early in the mornings uh, when I feel very sleepy or late in the uh, evenings just before I go to bed and I'm very sleepy. Or even if I can calm myself in the middle of the day and I can just find myself to be very relaxed. And the reason for that is it, it has all to do with brain frequency. As we speak now, now, the frequency of your brain wavelength, or we can even say maybe the activity within your brain, runs between about 14 and 30 hertz. And we call this the beta stage, all right? So you are very conscious, you are very aware, and normally with this kind of brain frequency, you can become very critical of things uh, because you reason well within this frequency range. The moment when you hit that aha moment, like oh, I just got it, that we will call a gamma frequency, and that's around about 40 hertz. Now, in this very critical way of thinking, it's often difficult to get our minds to take information and sometimes ridiculous information uh, or, or something that consciously sounds ridiculous. I mean, people say it is impossible to ride this, uh, uh, this I can't even say bicycle, my mind doesn't want to go there anymore, this machine, the Cyclops. Um, and, and so in, in, a, in a very conscious kind of thinking or high frequency brain frequency i'm very critical now about it like really can i do it or how would nobody else you know i'm mythbusters tested you know and, and, and so i'm critical about it but if i can get my brain frequency down from the 14 to 30 range to between 14 and 8 that space we call the alpha state now within the alpha state you you stop reasoning so much you know it is normally that stage just as you wake up kind of you kind of still dreaming and you kind of waking up or just as you fall asleep in that stage you are still very conscious but not as critical with your thinking and that is the sweet spot for reprogramming your thinking so between 8 and 4 hertz would be the early stages of your sleeping. Um, and, and that's, uh, they, they call it the, your theta um, uh, stage. And then below 4 hertz uh, is a very deep sleep. So if, if your brain frequency slows down to 4 hertz, very deep sleep. Um, and then obviously when you reach 0 hertz, you're dead. So never go down to 0. But the best uh, space to find yourself where you can do your own kind of program Programming, uh, would be between 14 and 8 hertz and you can just get yourself there through getting very relaxed so for centuries people will meditate themselves into this th this uh, trance-like state now all that is is they're just dropping their brain frequency and that is a very cool place to do some rewiring so if you do have meditative techniques or whatever that is cool now a lot of people meditate to empty their minds i would suggest don't empty your mind Take the information that you want to become in your life and start putting that into your mind while you're meditating. But for those of us that's not big on meditation, you must just be able to relax, 
a bubble bath with some candles going if you can get find yourself in a very relaxed state and then you take the information and you and you program your th your mind with that that is the best stage to to build these pathways you are the least critical in those times now Kubis, what do you do when you close your eyes i mean we can s we see you close your eyes and you kind of you know doing something but but what's actually happening inside of your mind very simple and straightforward uh, what I do is I see myself in the first person doing the thing that I want to do. I also make sure that while I can see myself doing that, that I speak to myself in a very specific way. And most importantly, that I feel something. I, I, I draw emotion in there as well. Now, let me just pause there and explain in first person, third person. You are a genius and and you your brain is clever enough to know that when i see myself in other words i spectate myself doing something uh in other words in the third person uh, your brain will go like ah, that's not real that can't be you but if i in the first person get onto the cyclops all I can see now is the steer, the, the, the steering, the handlebars and, and the wheel. And now I can see my hands on it. And now if I do this, I see the wheel going that way and the wheel is going that way. And now I'm going to lift my eyes. I'm looking around. I'm actually in a parking lot. That's where I am. Uh, I can look down again. The handlebars are moving. I'm looking up again. I'm kind of feeling slightly anxious because I want to do this now. And I, I'm, I'm putting my foot on the pedal. But remember, I can't see my foot in the pedal. It's just a feeling currently. And now I'm going to step on the pedal. It's the left pedal. I'm going to step on it. And I'm going to see how I just move forward. That's what I'm doing. So whenever I'm closing my eyes and really visualizing myself doing this, I'm, I'm trying to see what would this look like when I'm doing this. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm making sure that I, whatever I see, that I'm doing this successfully. I'm always successful when I visualize. I have not once wiped out on the Cyclops since I started visualizing because all I'm doing is I'm just visualizing it and I'm visualizing the success. But I, I try to put in a as much detail as possible. I, I, I try to really sense the wind blowing. I try to sense who's around me. It's like just creating my own simulator. Like, like you would have put a pilot in a simulator. I mean, it's not a real plane, but they, 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 they kind of feel and sense and see something. That's all that I do. I'm on a Cyclops simulator uh, in my own mind. So if you don't mind, I really want to get into the simulator and really just uh, feel and experience riding the Cyclops. Okay, I think once again, that's what I'm going to do. I just played this video in my mind as if I've experienced it the same. Now, I'll probably check in again with you this evening because I would like just as I am about to fall asleep when I'm very tired, I would actually like to do this again. That will probably be better and my brain will be more susceptible for information when I'm closer to that alpha state. See you later. Well, uh, it is just before 11 p.m. And uh, I'm very sleepy, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. And this is the ideal time now to do this rewiring thing because my brain frequency is dropping. Uh, I even lit a candle um, because this helps me to really calm myself and it's got an awesome smell. Uh, so it just puts me in a very relaxed mode. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get myself onto the Cyclops I'm going to make sure I do a lot of steering, but most importantly, I want to really feel what it's going to feel like to be on it. So if you just give me a few seconds, a few minutes, maybe only one or two minutes, I just really want to go through the process in my mind, first person.
I feel so self-aware doing this. Uh, you know, I think it must look ridiculous to you. I mean, in my mind, it makes total sense. I see this whole video playing off with a lot of emotion. But I mean, you looking at me can't see that. Um, but I think I'll, even, I'll, I'll rather look ridiculous now than when I get onto that Cyclops. Uh, so bear with me. Um, please tune in tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you the last few things. I actually feel ready. I feel good to go. Uh, that's that's really the feeling. But I will share with you a last few things um, that I think will really help my brain take hold of or imprint this new way of thinking. Um, so don't miss tomorrow.